Welcome to the video, everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to create a free Google website and then connect a custom URL to your Google website. You will need a Google account for this, which includes a Google email address. And once you have that, you can go to your three by three grid, your Google app icon up here. When you're logged in, after you open your Google Chrome web browser, and when you scroll down, you will see quite a few different apps from Google to use. At the very bottom, you wanna select more from Google. Once the page loads, you can scroll down and you will see browse all products. And when you scroll down further, you will find Google Sites. Right here off to the left, I'll go ahead and select that. Now you can see that you have templates to start a new site, you have a template gallery, and then you have the vertical triple dot icon to hide all templates here. Then you can see there are some recent sites and then sites owned by me. Another way to get to this product is when you search Google Sites, in the results list, you will see how to use Google Sites. You wanna select this. If you select anything else, Google will take you to a page where they want to charge you for the Google Workspace services, which is not the same thing as just a Google Site or a free Google Site. So select how to use Google Sites here. On this page, this is a walkthrough of creating a Google Site. You can select new Google Site and you will see that it takes us to the same place here. Here on the Google Site user interface, we can see that we could create a new blank site from a blank template here. We could select from a couple sample templates. Also, you have the ability to open up the entire template gallery here. And there are several sections of pre-made sites with templates to start you out on the right foot, depending on what it is that you're trying to create. So we have some different work projects and teams, small businesses, educational club and student portfolio. I'm gonna go ahead and select one of the small business templates here. And this actually has more of the layout that I might be looking for. So I can go ahead and select restaurant. And now you can see that you have a tool menu off to the right where you can insert various tools and you have several pages that you can create and configure along with additional themes to customize. You can also see that in the main pane here on the left, you have the layout of the template itself with all of your text and images. And also here at the top menu, you can see that you have an undo for last action or redo. You have the preview. So you can preview what it will look like on a mobile device or on the web app itself. And then you have those options right here. So we can go ahead and exit this preview, go back to our editor here. Also, you can go ahead and share your site with others. And then you have your settings icon here. And then we have a more option, which is the three vertical dots. And you can see that you have some information on version history. You can make a copy of your site and then create a new one from that. You can take a tour and learn more about Google Sites as well. So a lot of options here. Also, keep in mind that after you make make changes. Typically, Google Sites will save the change, but in order to visualize that change on your actual live site, you need to select Publish. So if I scroll down here for the insert for options, you can see we have content blocks, all sorts of goodies here for your site, social links, YouTube, so you can add videos. There's a lot of options here. If we go to Pages, you can see your current page hierarchy here. And as an example, if you wanted to get some more details here, you can select the vertical three dots. You can make this your homepage if you want, change or check some properties here, delete. You also have a search menu here. You've got themes. You can create a custom theme here. You can also import themes of your own if you make them or interested in making them. And then you can see you have some theme options already pre-listed here and pre-loaded and ready to go. Here within our site template at the header, let's go ahead and update our name just so we can see our changes. So I will click in here. You can see that this is a text box and it is highlighted in blue with some some adjustment handles here on both sides of the text field. And I will go ahead and type the name in here and then select publish. And now you will see that you can add your custom domain right in here on the first time that you publish, or you can go and manage through this link as well. And you also have privacy control on who can view your current site. I will cancel this for a second because I want to show you the other location to update your custom domain. You can also select the icon gear here that represents the settings menu. There are quite a few options here, but if you go down to custom domains, you will see in here that you have the option to set up or start the setup for a custom domain. I own the custom domain name, so I will type this in here. 
And then you can see that it wants to verify the domain. So we will verify ownership of the domain here. This is the Google search console for domains. We already have the domain entered here. It looks like it copied over. I can select continue, verify domain ownership, and then we do this via DNS records. So select the record type and then sign into the domain provider. And then we copy the TXT record below into that DNS configuration. And then we would verify here. So I can show you how to do that. And I will actually do this in my Namecheap account. Let's go to another tab and go to Namecheap and sign in. Now, once I'm signed in at Namecheap, I will go to my domain list and then I will find my domain name here and I will actually search for this. We can see that I have the proper domain name. I will go in to manage this domain name. You can see that we have the appropriate domain name here. I'm going to go ahead and select manage. Your screen might look, your screen might have a different layout for Namecheap than mine does because my screen is reduced in size for the recording. Under domain, you can see I have a flyout menu. I'm going to select that. And then you want to select advanced DNS here. Here we are in the advanced DNS section for the domain name. And if I scroll down, we can see that we have DNS templates, host records. So under host records, we have a couple records here and then you can see that they are separated by these lines, these horizontal lines, and then they each have a trash and or delete button and then an edit button here. So our first record is a CNAME record. The second is a URL redirect record. We can add a new record here so that we can select the appropriate record type, which is TXT record. And according to Google Sites, they want us to verify domain name ownership. So they want us to create a record type or select a record type of TXT, sign into our domain, copy the text record below into that DNS configuration for the site, and select the value, which is going to be the value that Google provides here and then press verify below. So we want to go back to Namecheap. So we've input this information. We can just say automatic select save changes and we should see this record available now in our domain name let's go back to google and then let's go ahead and try to verify here okay so now what we can do that we had a first attempt failed we can look for one of the records that has this value within it let's open the c name record we can see that that target is different that value is different there we can go into the redirect type here and select edit that's obviously not it let's scroll down here and look at this we actually have a txt file that already exists under our domain and you can see that we can go ahead and edit this edit the blocked record yes I'm gonna go ahead and paste that value in here. And if you want, you can copy the initial value that was there and paste it just to save it, just in case. Select Save Changes. Now we will go back to Google Sites and try to verify this one more time. All the settings propagated or updated appropriately. And so the verification went through. Google was able to verify that I own the domain name. So Google was able to verify that I own the domain name. Now let's go ahead and go to this go to property link here and we can see that there are several formats for a URL with HTTP, HTTPS, www, or just the M. They all funnel into the same end URL format here. Let's select start. Just go ahead and close this. Once you are here in the overview section, you can actually look at quite a few metrics on your web domain name. So you can see overall performance, URL inspection. You can drill down into indexing for the site. Feel free to navigate and explore all that. I'm gonna go back to my Google site here. Now back at my Google site to set up the custom domain, let's go ahead and cancel and try to set up this domain. You should see the approved check mark here and we can select next. Now we get the option to connect to third party domain register. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do what this nice little notification is telling us. We would like to permanently change the DNS settings for our domain name. We want to point our domain name to the actual site, which is here on Google sites. So we need to go back to Namecheap, go to our DNS settings and then create a new CNAME entry. So let's do that now. Let's go back to Namecheap. Let's go ahead and create a new file here. It looks like we already have this CNAME record here and it looks like it has a host at www. 
So let me go back and check Google Sites. This is also saying under CNAME value, enter www, and then in the destination, enter ghsgooglehosted.com. So let's go back and check this, and let's see, where is this targeting? A parking page at Namecheap. So we may not actually need to create a new one. We might just be able to edit this. I always encourage copying this value off and pasting it into a text editor or something to save it just in case you need it, in case something doesn't work right. So I will copy this and paste it into another doc. I will go back to Google Sites here and I will enter this. Include the period at the end. See, I almost excluded the period because I wasn't reading the directions fully. And we'll come back here and let's go make sure all the other settings, save changes, come back to this tab, click done. Okay, so let's save our changes. And I wanna make sure it did want us to enter www. Okay, now we can select done. And it looks like we have fully added this domain to our site. So let's go ahead and close this now, publish this change. And it looks like we need to leave up to 48 hours for the site to also be viewable at the mdnrquantum.com while we wait for the domain name to update with our Google site so that when we visit mdnrquantum.com or your custom domain name to view your website, we can also just check in the preview to see how our new free Google site will look after our text update. You can go up here and preview here. I have the computer selected, so this is what I would see on the computer version. And then if I go to the portrait on a device, this is what I will see. If I go landscape or tablet, it looks like. And if I select tablet, then here is what I would see in a landscape version on a tablet. If you just can't wait for your custom domain name to propagate so that you can see it live on the web, or if you don't have a custom domain name and you want to just use the Google site issued domain name, you can close out of the preview and go ahead and select the publish button up here. Whatever you enter into this web address text field here will be appended to the end of this new URL. So for instance, in my case, I might use MDNR energy and you can see how that is updated to the tail end of this URL for my website. And you can see that my addition to the URL is approved and there are none other like this. Now, if I was to add something else, like maybe .com, something that it doesn't like, it's gonna give me an error. Or if I was to enter something that already exists, it will let you know. So I will go ahead and select publish for this while we wait for the custom domain to propagate to the website. So it says that our site has been published successfully. We could select view there, but also also, if you miss that and it dropped away and you can't find it, not to worry, don't stress. Uh, up here, you'll notice on the publish button that now we have a drop down menu. So now we have some publish settings. We can review changes. We can review changes and publish, view the published site or unpublish. Let's go ahead and view our published site. And there you have it. This is an address, a URL that you can share with others and that the whole world can visit. Let's go ahead and check to see if our custom domain name is updated so that we can view our Google site. I will open a new tab up here in the browser and type in www.mdnrquantum.com, hit enter. And now you can see that our DNS has updated and our custom URL is now connected to our Google website. Thanks for joining me. This was how to create a Google site for free and to create a custom domain for your new free Google site. Take care guys.